Welcome back, everyone. Here, map three in this series: Valhalla Rising versus Gosu. You're watching the MSI I Buy Power Qualifiers number two here, presented by Sevo on MLG.tv slash PlaySevo, and we've got ourselves a knife round here. Yeah, so let's see how it plays out. VR just sticking to the to the wolf pack mentality, just all grouped up together. They get Spanky completely on an island. They get Hipposaver on an island. Now they got Tor on an island. Uh -oh. They got Nifty on an island. And then it's just an archipelago. Or what is it? An archipelago? Arca yeah, I know what you're trying to say. No. Archipelago Arca or something like that. <laughs> archipelago? Archipelago, yeah. That's a, a, a group of islands. islands. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Getting real National Geographic up You were here. about to say acapella. Like, I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not it. Unless they're, they're singing, singing after it. <laughs> they're minstrels over there, the Vikings. On their way to Valhalla. <laughs> but, uh, what are they opting? Opting for CT sign, I could only imagine. Even though cash kind of can go either way. Yeah, I don't think it really matters too much. Um, so, we're probably going to see... Uh, some good T action here. I think uh, this this Gosu pug is going to be playing pretty high flying, uh, holding W a lot as we kind of saw a preview of that on Inferno. A lot of their offense was just very generic strategy with very aggressive play to see if you if they can just force the issue and win all these gunfights. And it didn't work out that way, Valhalla looked really good on CT, so here they are starting on CT themselves. So if, if Valhalla can win this pistol, I can see them winning about 10-5, but if they lose, I think it's going to be probably another 8-7. Alright, so it looks like it could be a close one. A VR holding on to the vents, that's Evolution here. Going to get one, will he find two? He does, he gets them both. How, do, how does he feel about CSGO as a game? <laughs> Probably so, not any different. Yeah, probably not. He's always been kind of a salty dude, no matter what, so it doesn't even surprise me that after not seeing him for, like, probably five or four years playing, that he's exactly the same. So, we still see a Valhalla pistol round win. Great great uh, headshots by, by Evolution and X1 just holding their stuff down. And uh, we see SMG's bought up, only one FAMAS on the board in the hands of Trolls. It's a 2-1-2 two -two setup, Evolution holding mid by himself, and he's got a tall order in front of him. There's three players boosted up, so they're going to come out, jump onto this this uh, little beam and push him. Evolution's going to hold, and he's got a, a buddy to help him with it, and that gets shut down. Two remaining players coming out of A main now. And uh, Trolls takes care of that, so all five alive again. I think all five not even taking a single point of damage. Yeah, that's a flawless round there. And let's see what they got. Three of those SMGs moving into that third round here, but there were no plants by the terrorists, so no rifles coming out. And we'll be able to hold on to those SMGs and be safe while doing it uh, one more time and farm up the big bucks. So let's see what Gosu's doing. All five grouped up in a main. It's smoked off, so it's going to give him enough uh, enough room to work with. Uh, two players in A, so a good anti-eco setup for, for VR. Um, expect a pop flash coming in right now. They're going to take fork side and the site, and let's see if they can hold. Mario going to get one. Will he find a second with the Tech-9? He does. Hippo Saver going to get one with his P250 as well. So P90 and an M4 on retake. And you've got the FAMAS in the hands of Hippo. MP7 for Mario. They will boost on the top of Quad Long Range with the MP7. And uh-oh, X1 can't quite hold on. Dizzy Man now alone. One on two. Mario already with the 3K. And wow, we'll make it four as he quickly peeks out. Now gets that M4 into the next round as well. So they upset here. But still enough money for Valhalla to buy up. Dizaman, the only one that's poor. Yeah, so I think if, I think if you're uh, if you're VR, you probably want to buy up here. Just because Dizaman can't buy, I don't think you should save, but looks like they're just going to save anyway. Uh, Evolution picking up a scout at the very least, so at least we see some decent amount of upgraded equipment. 
Um, but Gosu just setting up mid. Looks like they're gonna boost up uh, two players. Or excuse me, just one player. It's Mario. Spanky peeking peeking into A main. Spots trolls, gets that kill and comes out. That prompts a flash take in middle. Gosu all over the vent. And actually the B players are just all past B already. They're about to peak middle here. They have two players lined up. Make it three. So two of them go down. Nifty knows that Dizaman's here. Dizaman backs off. Gets Nifty to push right into him and gets a nice kill. And then Spanky's flanking the flanker. But just misses Dizaman. Dizaman gets out of there. Spanky 2 HP. Easy kill for Dizza. And uh, wow, what a great flank. Yeah, and that works out nicely. They're able to uh, get right back on track after dropping the one round. Um, Money would have been in a rough spot if they lost those two in a row. And the terrorist got a decision to make. I mean, 7.1k on Mario, but both Tor and Hippo Saver are, are pretty poor. And yeah, we'll just see some Tech Nines dropped here by Mario. I think he bought two or maybe even three of them, but everyone with the Tech Nine right now. And the poor guy's not having to spend a dime. And oh, that smoke actually, a B is botched a little bit. So, let's see Gosu. Outside of B main, Tech Nine's up. Only two players towards the VRs for VR over there. Smoke comes in just as they're flashing. And, oh, X1 just giving him a free kill, trying to do a flashbang and just not getting it out of his hands. So, Gosu getting a free sight, basically. Evolution on the rotate with an AWP, just trying to see if he can shoot anybody. But Gosu's not giving him any targets to look at. Finally does, takes down Spanky. Mario and Hippo <laughs> Saver in the checkers area. Tor just joking that they should just stick to pistols. And might be the case, is they're yeah, pretty wow. amazing with them. As Nifty with that Tech 9 will, sh will show what Tor meant right there. And they'll get another round, so keeping it within one here. And that should break Valhalla to at least maybe uh, this time Inertia just buying 5.7s for everybody. Evolution will go in for a scout, but that is going to be all. X1 poor at only 1400 bucks. He won't even be able to buy that next round. He'll still be stuck on a 5.7. Unless someone can save a gun. So let's see what Gosu does in this situation. Dizaman pushing through. Going to get some early information, get a fight with Spanky. Spanky just takes him down. Nifty gets boosted, kills Evolution, trying to do some jump scout action. Mario sees the two pushing halls and just backs off. Great angle breakdown, gets both of them. Nice headshots. And now X1 alone in the site, trying to catch Nifty, and Nifty just offs him right back. So Gosu, great anti-eco. Yeah, and that ties it right up, and that's their first streak as well. Two in a row this time. They'll be going in against uh, a rifle round. Yet to be determined what X1 will be using. 1350. Will he stick with the USP? Will he go for... Oh, they dropped him. Okay, just kidding. It was on the ground. So there they go. Everyone with the gun. Decent nades. Only one kit, though, on inertia. So let's see what's going on. Very uh, heavy middle presence here from VR. Um, two players, actually just mid and B. There's two players in B, one in Vent, and then Evolution is just playing uh, middle by himself. And then Trolls alone in the site at A. So we'll see uh, how uh, Gosu reads the situation. They're just poking around, trying to see if they can get just whatever kills and information they can. X1 doing a great little pop flash, catches Tor. So now Spanky has to drop off. And that'll, this will prompt Gosu to take over middle with Nifty and Hippo Saver. Nifty opping, strafing out, just trying to get this pick. He's going to look towards the vent and needs to get this kill on Inertia. Finds him. Great pick. So now, where do you go from here? They get that pick. Mario opens up the door. Looks like they're just going to reroute immediately to A, but... Luckily, luckily enough, VR has two people there. Yeah, this man's not too far off. He's still watching their backs at middle, so we can quickly come up highway as these smokes and molotovs and flashes, everything coming out here uh, from A main. But some pop flashes in will slow them down a little bit. Quant completely mollied and naded off. Mario still going to hit the entry. Nifty with the beautiful one on Diz as he climbs up. And a third on the evolution. Sight is cleared, and Nifty will plant X1. The last one coming over. So let's see what he does. Just makes his presence known. See if he can just 
tap heads, but there's no heads to tap. Makes his makes him known, get gets out of there, and now he's gonna save. Great round by Gosu. Getting kills around the map, even though uh, they ended up with Tor getting uh, killed in the very beginning of the round. Um, they kept their composure, took over middle, got that nice kill on Inertia and Vent, and then uh, went on from there. So They're looking pretty good. Getting four rounds on T-side. Going to force a lot of uh, issues uh, money-wise for VR right now. Yeah. That's going to be rough. Gosu taking the lead. Actually, having had it for a while. Three in a row. That bomb blowing up. Op for Nifty once again. He's been terrifying with that. And just X1. Maybe he can do something big. We saw, I think, who it was earlier. I think it was Dizaman, right, on Inferno, where they had the one rifle and he was pushing down Banana. And the rest mm -hmm. of the team on pistols was able to get four. So maybe X1 could do something similar here. Oh my gosh, but maybe not the maybe that's not the M4 he uses, because almost spraying the whole clip and couldn't find Spanky. So X1 falls and now all pistols for Valhalla. Yeah, and they're all stacked on that A side. Only trolls coming in. X1 so upset with himself, actually disconnecting. Maybe he's switching to the M4 silencer. You might be a hundred percent right. That'd be pretty wild. Give you a gold medal for that if that's the case. Spanky coming in. Gets trolls, and uh, that's a bomb site for uh, for Gosu to get it down. It's all on evolution, alone at A. Try to get in some exit kills. Hopefully, just escape with a gun. But Gosu is all over the place. Yeah, it's kind of silly that you can just you can leave. Well, this part of it isn't silly, but like you can leave the server and just switch your M4, right? So why not just make it able to switch in game, like when you're dead or something, or at half? Or, uh, I don't know. I think it's I think it's weird that you can't yeah, have both it's kind of those guns of weird. available to you at, at all times. My idea for it, which I think would be a, an interesting solution, is. I think you should just be able to change whatever slot on your buy menu that you want to with whatever guns if there's different options, you know? Like you could just have both M4s or... Yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, like take the scout off if you're never going to scout. Like, exactly, I never yeah. use that gun, so I'd rather just have both M4s there. Yeah, some people would never buy a, a auto sh or an auto sniper. And it could lead into some interesting stuff. They actually boost trolls this round. And uh, Hippo Saver catches him. He was trying to see if there was anyone A main that he could uh, catch off guard. Uh, but it just wasn't the case. So we see uh, VR give the uh, give the uh, numbers lead right back to Gosu. So Gosu's going to group up here at A main, it looks like. And uh, just go from there. And it's only Dizaman there in the in that fence corner. Inertia already on the rotate, though. Coming in to help his teammates. Nice counter flash, and Dizaman picks up, picks up one player, make it two. Looking for more. Oh! Nurse just strafes out, kills Mario. So now Spanky just holding Dizaman with 13 HP. Yeah, I think he might have got dinked through the corner there. I heard a big dink. I thought he maybe delivered it. I wasn't sure. It could have been an AK through the wall. About the only way you can dink with it, obviously. Uh, but Spanky in a one-on-three right now. Evolution, the only one who's low. But all three players here at A site. And I can't tell. Is the bomb down? Yeah, it is bomb right in front of him. He's going to run away. 10 HP. Or, excuse me, 91 HP. Back to get the op. Looking for a straggler. But he's got to be very careful. Because uh, what I meant to say was 10 seconds. As now time will run out. So he does not want to die after that time. Well done. Ghost, uh, Ghost trying to hit A and then Dizaman shutting him down. Great spray, getting two kills. And uh, thought it was, he was a little silly for peeking himself out with 15 HP, knowing that he was an A main, basically. Just making him rebuy head armor and, and whatever grenades he had left over. So, a little bit of a boneheaded play, but uh, it was definitely started with uh, some good ones. So, we see Gosu coming out middle insanely quick all five they're taking over highway and uh going to a but there's actually a double push going on from vr they're all the way through a halls trolls getting a kill on the nifty through the smoke and mid 
And Evolution picking another one off. These guys are picking them apart. Two kills for Evolution. Yeah, four on two just like that. Valhalla want to get more than the one-off victory because they will need that. This will tie it up. Five to five. But Tor still fighting. Finds a headshot there. Down to seven HP. Mario's teammate at 26. There you can see Evolution over a truck quite low as well. Inertia's already posted up on the full-on flank, just waiting for anyone to come back this way. Either rotating to B or A, he's locking both transitions down. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Mario and Tor trying to work their way up a highway. Just hoping someone will peek into the op, but they are sitting very still. Yeah, one of those just gruesome rounds. Just not a lot to work with. Tor low, Mario low. So they're just going to try to sit back and uh, save if they can, but Inertia finding Tor, missing a few shots, taking him down. So will he find the next one? He, he does find Mark and uh, collapses on him. Great round by uh, VR. They're coming back in this match two in a row. Yeah, that's nice. So keeping it neck and neck on a map that is so even like cash. And looking at the money, I mean, the terrorists had... A ton, like able to uh, lose two in a row and still have nine grand. Op onto evolution. Let's see where he's taking that. Oh, he's out middle, right out of Z. Actually, he's standing in the open, but they're about to. Uh, they're they're on the caboose, right? Here is Nifty coming in as the train of terrorist players trying to get into that site, but it is being locked down and fortunately though with those 20 bullet m4s not quite enough in the tank to just stop that oh nifty i think just botched that name but still able to cross into the site will they be able to stop evolution from getting out of heaven yes they will inertia coming through those vents real quick his pace quickened because of that molotov being down it had to go through so two on two post play oh nice molotov Forces Mario out of that headshot ledge, but actually puts him in the sight, forces him to, to look towards Inertia's way, and he caps his head. This man trying to retake Nifty, takes down Dizza, and goes who answers back, putting a six point on the board. Yep, so just like that, they are back in the lead, only getting to a tied position. Uh, although, actually, I guess Valhalla getting the pistol the second and then getting upset in that third round did have a lead at one point but couldn't find it back there uh, in round 11. So now into round 12, and we will see a full eco here for Valhalla. The terrorists just continue building up their money because they've really got so much of it. Well, it, well really just Nifty has so much of it. 11,000 bucks. Hippo with 7K. Here they go. CT's trying to push through aggressive. Mario will spray them oh. down. A, almost a no-scope. Finally scoped at the last second. Gets X1, and then another quick one. Spanky with a nice two to X1 and Evolution. He's the only one to go down. Starts this round with near fifteen thousand dollars. Hippo near eleven, and they are good to roll probably until the end of this half with rifle rounds, win or lose. Yeah, they're sitting very pretty right now. As long as they, yeah, they should be able to buy. <laughs> they have tons of money. So we see Valhalla coming back in. Full gun round for everyone. Two one two setup for the CTs. And uh, Terrace just grouped up towards mid. A lot of spamming in the warehouse. They boost up Spanky onto the uh, right, uh, right at the edge of the uh, boost spot. And uh, Evolution get a nade right on top of him. Nice oh my nade. Gosh. Just brings him down by about 80 damage. That went really. off on his head. Yeah, just cracked an egg on his head. X1 spotted in checker. He's gonna back up a little bit. See what he he could do it. Some early damage brings him back, so he's got to he's got to recede back into the site with trolls. So where does Gosu go from this point? They're out middle, smokes out. They're seeing it, what they can do with with uh, what uh, VR is giving them, and it's plenty. It looks like it's it. My guess it would have to be a uh, vent split here. They've established themselves mid, getting some nades out, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll probably just drop down here. Yep, they're taking checker. 
And uh, it should be a pretty smooth execute by Gosu as long as uh, VR doesn't do anything crazy. There's that Molly to Generator again, and actually they will catch Trolls before you can even see them as they are able to peek wider. Nifty brings down that Heaven player, Spanky, at his back. He'll bring down Evolution. So there is a trade out there. There's a man. Last one up. Gets one. Now pushing in. Can't quite stop the plan. It's going down there. And the very safe one. And Hippo Saver is there on the flank to find Dizza. Two members of Gosu survive. They'll win another. It is eight to five. And the CTs will have to save again for the last round of the half. Yeah, Gosu just coming in strong on cash. Too much for uh for these VR players to handle at the moment. Lots of really good individual play. And uh, just smart, grouping up together mid-round and uh, making the most out of it. It's really simple Counter-Strike, folks. You don't have to make it too difficult. So, Gosu, going pretty quick door here. Inertia pushing into A main, gets killed immediately. They boost up Dizza, Hippo takes him down. And now it's just VR trying to catch up with Gosu as they just have the perfect read. They're already in A, bombs down. Two players in the mid warehouse for the CTs. Nifty takes down X1. Mario takes down Evolution. All left to Trolls. Can he get that kill? No, he cannot. Hippo Saver takes him down. And there it goes. Yep, keeping it simple. Not that CS is really the, the hardest game, right? It's always kind of just like making sure you're efficient with your trades, being a good synergy with your partner, and just as a whole team, just able to execute... Uh, right on time, everyone on cue, and the ability to, I guess, kind of adapt after your plan would fall apart. That's maybe the hardest thing to do. Yeah, for sure. To, to rally back from being behind a man. I mean, because you see stats, right? Like, teams win. I, I kind of just fudging the numbers, but from, from what I have looked at, trying to push some statistics to the stream, it's like 60 to 70% of the rounds where you get the first kill, you win them. So it does take quite mm -hmm. a bit to strike back. Yeah, that was a... That was a stat up that was brought up a long time ago on Gotfrag. They did a study may on rest first frag. Yeah, may it rest in peace. Um, that yeah, first kill in the in the round. So it's a very uh very uh telling who's gonna win. As it was around sixty or seventy percent, it was and went to the fa or went to the uh, person who got the the pick. So. In that case, it would be the CTs here. They're up. They've got the first entry, but Spanky gets an entry right back. It's going to be a, a execute with three players. Inertia in that corner trying to get a kill, and Hippo Saver takes him down. X1 goes down as well. So now we see the rotate with Evolution and Trolls. Nifty at the fork. Hippo Saver at quad. Grouped up with Spanky, but a Molotov comes in. Nifty takes down Trolls. It's all left to Evolution here. On the top, coming in, looking for someone, spots that guy, fork, takes him down, oh my gosh, two Ooh, HP! Gets them both! Gets them both, and oh, unreal. He was very, very naive to that, to that Molotov on the ground, backed right into it, got him down to two HP, but he doesn't care, he was looking for heads, that's a 9-6 half. Indeed it is, so, almost as close as you can get. Not too bad at all for uh, either side of cash. And, I mean, starting on the T side, though, I think Gosu will be happy uh, to have those nine rounds. Still, I think a lot of people will say the T side's generally a bit harder just because you have to go, you know, on that offense. you got to be the one to make the plays. But as we've seen, a lot of teams really do favor the T side uh, on a map like this. I mean, looking at one of the best NA teams, I mean, Cloud9 in particular, right? Yeah. They're they're really good at it. Most teams are. I think just we we kind of embrace this map probably because Volcano made it, and <laughs> I mean, and it's just a really good map. I, I'm happy that we play it a lot. Personally, I was sick of Dust too. Yeah, man, Dust Two is like like may it rest in peace at this point. Obviously, everyone still you know probably has a soft spot for it somewhere in their hearts, but it's. At least in the EU games I've been casting for our own uh, pro league, it gets banned almost every single time. Still pops up a little more often in North America, though. Mm-hmm. So, here we go. Live, second half. Valhalla Rising versus Gosu. 9-6 in favor of Gosu. Gosu's starting on the CT side now. 
And we're on a we're in a pistol wrap. So let's see the, what the buy ups look like. Looks like uh, two Tech Nines dropped, and they're gonna give them to uh, trolls um, to use with with armor. And he'll be kind of the uh, Olaf the, Meister. The raid boss. Yeah, he'll be the Olaf Meister. Where Dizaman picks up another one as well, but I think he kind of forgot to buy. He has literally not bought anything, and he should probably have armor. Save it for that so, off. Yeah, for sure. So they go oh out middle gosh. and they just spam X1 right in the grill, trying to get into the vent, and he gets in there. And oh man, Spanky in the spot to get a bunch of kills. Picks up three. Inertia finally takes him out. And now it's all up to him. One on three, make it a one on two. Takes down Tor, Upper, Hippo Saver, and Nifty together. The lower part of uh, the entrance to B. Bombs down right in front of him. Inertia's looking around, fighting, and there's just... Two, t two people there, nice teamwork, good job not splitting up and not playing dumb Counter-Strike. It's a team game, don't worry about your stats, just get the W's, and get the checks. And now we see Gosu getting a great lead, good piss around win for them to really close out this match. And Valhalla Rising in a tough spot, looks like they're just going to Tech-9 armor up, let's see where they go with it. Yeah. And Spanky with a nice uh, three kills with that one clip of that P2K in a good spot. You've got Tor pushing up here. Everyone on submachine guns right now getting in really close. And I mean, kind of just doing what you expect, right? Having those submachine guns to straight up counter the Tech Nines. That's why they've been buffed so ridiculously much. And then uh, when that fails, Hippo Saver just pulled out his Tech Nine. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, just an absolute juggernaut of weaponry. So, going into this uh, next eco, the uh, the buy-up from Valhalla Rising, completely squashed by Gosu. I believe no one died on the CT side last round. Let me double-check that. Yep, every, all of them stayed alive. VR switching it up to the B side. They're just playing very passive. It's a bunch of Glocks and one flashbang, but Gosu is getting right in the face, picking up two, pushing through. Spanky gets another. Yeah, just inertia and evolution now. Uh, inertia was all oh, able to pick up the MP7, but couldn't do anything with it. And evolution getting blown sky high right there. I'm not sure that's how physics work. Physics works, but hey, you've never been to war, bro. You don't <laughs> yeah, see it's true. When people get shot, they just fly in the air like hacky sacks. I didn't notice that at Band of Brothers. I think they kept that detail out. Yeah, that's probably the biggest knock on, on Band of Brothers realism is the <laughs> lack of just ragdoll effects. <laughs> exactly. So, here we go. VR buying up. AKs as well. And they try to do a quick boost, but that quickly gets stopped as they just Molotov right on top of it. So, now they're waiting it. Waiting it out. Now they're going to go up there now. Getting Trolls and X1 up there. See what they can do with it. Evolution already set up in mid, so... Probably gonna see a flash little take mid, and uh, there's some player. Hippo Saver needs to be looking not at the right spot. Picks oh, up able one, to get two. two. Pulls up the Tech Nine tour. Excellent, excellent teamwork together, just covering each other's backs, and that whole middle aggression completely stopped. Six to twelve. Gosu is in a absolute awesome form on the CT side. Yeah, they are. They haven't given up a round yet. Four in a row, and I mean, that was their first real test right there, and while it, it almost looked like that middle defense could have fallen apart, but the two M4 kills there by the player events was sick, and then the op shot from Tor just to support him. It was beautiful. Teamwork at its finest. And now, it'll be smokes and tech nine, so I would not be surprised if it's throw a bunch of set smokes a day and try to get the bomb down. Yes, sir. So, looks like they're heading towards A. Three three towards, uh, or at least one towards the door. The other two setting up the spokes to throw them over. So, here they come dropping in. Hippo Saber throwing a Molotov at that entrance. Plenty oh. going through that door, and they just get mowed down. Nifty picks up three. Hippo Saber only picks up one, but this man has 18 HP. He's going to try to get the bomb down. Tor is going to definitely deny this plant, and... Very good anti-eco there by Gosu. He's got to play more StarCraft so he can play the bomb faster. Get that APM up. Mm-hmm. 
but there it is. 14 to 6. Two more rounds for Gosu to close it out. Will they have a flawless CT half? That's kind of the storyline right now, I think, for Gosu. As I'm trying to figure out, the bracket is very large, <laughs> but I'm trying to figure <laughs> out uh, where they actually sit and, and who these guys might have to play up next. And oh, nice spam evolution brought down to 11 HP. I wonder what he's going to say about that. He's been complaining about something every single time something bad happens to him. <laughs> so we see Nifty trying to self boost up the, up onto uh, onto that A uh, box, but just not there. And uh, VR very grouped up here um, at this A bomb site. Bombs down still in A main, so I don't know what they're trying to accomplish here. They're trying to pick it or do what and it's just not working out two picks by gosu x1 picks up hippo saber oh gosh, 50 nifty. kills x1 and back to back three and kills gosu is looking good nifty from that quad uh, or the fence position or basically just a they cannot get him out of there it's been too rough and uh, still flawless on this second half on the ct side is gosu match point and they will have plenty they'll have what 10 match points if they need them right yeah, just too too many rounds handled. I think that's eight actually, eight match points. Uh, but yeah, what do what do you do from here? Gosu actually switching up triple B push, and oh man, just perfect anti call for what VR is trying to do. Tor gets a pick in middle. Evolution gets a kill on Amaria, but it's traded immediately by Spanky. Nifty picks up Troll. It's all Dizzy Man and Sp and Spanky takes him down. GG's given out. Well played, and uh, Evolution with a nice little jab at the end. Good internet game, and <laughs> let's see, Gosu moving on. I mean, at least he lives life without having to salt his food, right? He doesn't have that modern-day inconvenience. <laughs> yeah, he's got plenty of it. He's like a salt mine himself. Yeah, but, uh, well, always fun to see the uh, the 1.6 guys back. And uh, go to yeah. I want to see. I want to see them get better. I mean, I, I'm friends with a few of those players, Dizman and uh, Inertia and Trolls. Don't know Evolution that well, but uh, yeah. I mean, those those are some invite legends from 1.6. They're definitely have a good idea of how to play, but they need uh, like play right in terms of trading. But they just need to work on how how to entry into the site get. Get better flashbangs and smokes down. Just seems like there's a little bit lack of uh, depth to their strategies. Yeah, and I mean, Go has obviously changed the the smoking and flashing game quite significantly. So maybe if they haven't put too many hours into Go, not quite familiar with it. But again, would love to see them get better. And well, I've got good news for Gosu and any Gosu fans. They're about to move on to the bracket and play Eliminate ESP, who I've actually got here without having to play a series all the way into round three. They took uh, all four if it wins across. So they've got untested, and that means, you know, maybe do they have what it cold. takes? Maybe they're yeah, just they a solid team, or maybe they got lucky and got pretty far through. Yeah, so probably see them go through. Gosu is a very a bunch of accomplished players, and Go uh, as well. They've that team. I mean, I'm not exactly. I don't know them very well. I don't know like their practice or what their lineups are generally are, but I know that I've seen that team go pretty deep in the playoffs and ESEA, and I think they've been in a few SEVO uh, uh, leagues. So, you know, well well played to them, and uh, I think they're just having fun uh, with, a, with a group of friends. So good luck to them on the way through. All right, guys. Well, that's all we've got for our, our duo here, myself, Helium, and with me, Hurricane. Uh, we're done casting for the day. We're going to be taking about a 30-minute break here, and then we'll be continuing with some more, uh, two or three more best of threes, depending on how long it takes to get through that whole bracket. It'll be misled and later coming on in just a little bit. So come back, tell your friends, and also I want to remind you that we do have a, uh, a giveaway. That's going to be going on tomorrow, so make sure to tune into tomorrow's broadcast. It'll be going on all day at the same time. MSI will be handing out uh, GTX 960 gaming GPU. Uh, I believe they, or NVIDIA rather, calls it the, the mid-range champion. It's definitely a card that'll handle CSGO. Could be a big upgrade, and make sure to tune in tomorrow to get involved in the giveaway. But that's what we've got, guys. Uh, for now, we'll be back in about 30 minutes, so rejoin us, and uh, we'll see you then.